let's suppose. So let's take a look at another example that deals with radioactive dating or carbon dating. So suppose a person found an artifact, an ancient wooden artifact, and that person claims that this artifact was created 25,000 years ago. Now if the mass of this artifact is 150 grams and the activity of the carbon inside the wood is measured to be 10 atoms per second at the moment that our artifact was found, determine whether or not the person's claim is actually correct. So assume that the wood came from a living organism, a living tree, which had a ratio of carbon 14 to carbon 12 of 1.3 times 10 to the negative 12. And assume that the decay constant for carbon 14 is 3.83 times 10 to negative 12 seconds to the negative 1. So, to see whether or not our claim is actually true, we're going to follow the following four steps. So, in step one, our goal is to basically determine how many carbon-12 atoms the sample of 150 grams of wood actually corresponds to. And we're going to make the assumption since a very long time has passed, since the wooden artifact was actually created, that all our carbon atoms are in fact carbon-12 atoms. So basically, we take the mass of our artifact of 150 grams and we divide by the atomic mass of carbon-12. So 150 grams divided by 12 grams per mole, the grams will cancel, the mole will go on top. So now this gives us the moles of carbon we have inside the 150 grams of the ancient wooden artifact. And we take this and multiply it by the number of atoms inside one mole of Avogadro's number and we get 7.53 times 10 to the 24 atoms. So this is the number of carbon 12 atoms inside our 150 grams of wood. So now let's move on to step two. So now, using this value calculated here and our ratio given here, we want to calculate how many of these atoms actually correspond to the carbon-14 atoms when that tree was actually alive. So at the time that our wooden artifact was actually created. So remember, the amount in grams that correspond to the piece of wood hasn't actually changed. It remained the same. And that's exactly why this number of atoms also remain the same. So here we made the assumption that all these atoms correspond to the carbon-12 atoms. But when the wooden artifact was actually created, the ratio was not true. So we did have some number of carbon-14 isotopes. So we take our ratio of carbon-14 to carbon-12, this quantity, and we multiply it by the total number of atoms calculated in step one. So this multiplied by this gives us 9.8 times 10 to the 12 atoms of carbon-14. So we're going to designate this as n naught. So this corresponds to the number of carbon-14 atoms inside our piece of wood that was forged some amount of time ago. So, now in step three, we want to actually find the rate of decay or the activity of our wood when it was actually alive, when it was found inside that living tree at the time that it was created. So, to calculate our activity or not, we simply take the product of our alpha, which is given here, and multiply it by this quantity here. So, this gives us an activity of about 37.5 atoms per second. So that basically means this is the number of carbon-14 atoms that readily undergo decay every single second at the time that the artifact was created. So now we know our initial activity and we are also given our final activity. So at the moment our artifact was found, so 10 atoms per second. 
And now in step four, we can use these two quantities as well as our alpha to actually calculate what the time is. So basically, we can use this equation, rearrange it, and we get the time is equal to negative natural log of the ratio of our two activities, R to R naught, where R is 10 atoms per second and R naught is 37.5 atoms per second, and we divide that by alpha, this quantity and we get a value of 3.451 times 10 to the 11 seconds. So this is basically the period of time that has passed between when the artifact was actually formed and when the artifact was found. And this corresponds to a value of about 10,940 years. So we see this does not actually correspond to a value of 25,000 years. It's less. And so that means this person's claim is not actually true.